the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee across the plains of Texas from the sea to shining sea from Detroit down to Houston and New York to L.A. Well, it's right in every American heart and it's time we stand and say in Columbia. This is Houston. Happy 4th of July. I hope you enjoyed the Boston Lee and it was sufficiently rousing and patriotic for this 220th birthday of the good old U.S. Well, good morning, Houston. Those of us born in America, we do wish that uh, God blesses America and we have had the extreme pleasure of seeing 49 of the 50 states over the last few weeks and it is truly a beautiful country and we are proud to be Americans, especially today and our special thoughts to those that uh, lost loved ones and those that were injured in Saudi Arabia and we are here to serve as they did and uh, we're ready to go to work. Thanks Tom for those great words. We're all real proud to be down here and uh, look forward to a great day of work up, up there from you all and we'll uh, uh, let you go to work getting out of post sleep. One last uh, reminder, we'd like you to remember to turn on the tips and we'll send up your uh, morning mail. Good to know, Blaine. And good to have you on console. It's a strange spot for me to be in, but it's great to be here.
Independence Day, America. On the left side of the picture in the red and white striped shirt is payload commander Susan Helms. And near the, uh, the tunnel uh, at the rear of the picture connecting the space lab to the uh, rest of the orbiter's crew cabin area, mission specialist Rick Linehan. The white shirt uh, adorns uh, Jean-Jacques Favier, the French payload specialist, with Canadian payload specialist Bob Thirsk in the foreground. In the uh, tank top shirt uh, in the middle of the picture, pilot Kevin Kriegel. The astronauts again wrapping up their day's activities uh, in the Space Lab Science Workshop. They'll be moving into a pre-sleep period uh, very shortly, which will lead to the beginning of an eight-hour sleep period at 3.39 p.m. Central Time this afternoon. Tesla positive for Alfie. Go ahead, Pedro. Sorry if I was interrupting, Rick. Uh, we are getting some wrong telemetry signals, and uh, the PI thinks that maybe the battery is low. So she's asking uh, Rick, please, to uh, stop here, change the battery, and repeat the test. Okay, 